Do you ever feel like you cannot figure your life out? Things just don't go together like a puzzle. The pieces are all spread out. Well, I have a special guest tonight, Miss Zanika Chapman, that is a world famous life coach, and she is going to tell us how to do it, how to get your life together. Hey, Zanika, welcome to the set. Hi, Deborah. I'm so excited to be here. I'm more, I'm more excited to have you here. So, I love your story. You started out in PR and marketing, and you loved it, but you wanted to do more. Tell me, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I started out PR, I thought I had what was my dream job, and it turned out it was not a dream job. That's a, a story for another day. But you know, anytime you have those things happen to you, and then right as I discovered that, I was in a life, like a life-changing car accident. And so you kind of have this sense where you're like, all right, I've got another crack at this. How do I want to use this time? And I really wanted to have a life that was truly fulfilling and do the things that I really wanted to do. And so I knew part of that journey was I had to start sharing my story. I've always been the girl that everybody would come to and say, hey, I got an idea. I got a thing. I'm not quite happy. Help me figure this out. And for a long time, I didn't know what to do with that. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, gosh, why don't I have a talent where I can sing or cook or dance or something fun? Like, I'm just like, I'm a cheerleader, right? right? Absolutely. And then it wasn't until I actually discovered coaching on my own through an executive coach, and then I turned to life coaching, that I, I it all came together. That's Good. why I have this thing. It went ding, ding, ding. It sure did. So I love it. So sometimes, like, the, the, the accident really yeah. set you on a different life pace because you thought, I have a second chance at life. I don't want to waste it. I want to do something that helps me and in turn helps others. Absolutely. A lot of women go through life-changing events, mm -hmm. you know, whatever happens in their lives. Sometimes we just can't figure our lives out. Sometimes we go through a traumatic event, mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes, you know, that can put women on the path to depression or negativity. So I think what you try to work with is positive vibes only. Absolutely. If you feel it, if you think it then it's going to manifest and happen, right? Absolutely. And we often think of, you know, when it's time to get a life coach, it's only when those traumatic things happen to us, right? But most people don't think life is just happening. You go through all different types of seasons in your life, and what may have served you in this previous season doesn't quite fit the woman mm -hmm. that you're becoming. Right. And so how do we really start to disrupt these thoughts, these beliefs, these habits that you have so that you can really truly open up to who it is that you're becoming and start to live that life. Right. Because I think a lot of times we go through decades of change. Absolutely. And there there are times that, you know, it happens you cannot do nothing but change. But I think change is good. I think when you embrace it, because that last chapter I've lived. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to go back to that last chapter. Mm -hmm. I want the next chapter. But I think a lot of women get caught and they live in their past, you know, and they don't want to reinvent themselves. What would you tell them is a good way to reinvent yourself and start a new path, a new journey? Yeah, well, I think first we have to explore kind of why. Why is it that you keep going back to that past? And for a lot of us, it's really just fear. We don't like to admit it. We don't like to say I'm afraid, but I'm afraid that maybe the success that I had in this previous season I won't have. Maybe I really am not as good and I can't take this skill set into this new season. So what is it that, that really is going on for you? And, and maybe it's a different kind of fear for everybody, but really start to ask yourself, why am I feeling this way that I'm feeling, right? Mm -hmm. What is it that I'm, I'm believing, that I'm thinking, that's kind of keeping me in this feeling of being stuck? And then once you've done that, now you can start to peel back the layers to that onion right. and say, okay, is it because I think that thing is impossible? What if it was possible, right? Right. So it's just exactly. kind of switching a lot of the questions that we tell ourselves because we're kind of negatively wired anyway. Right. So we often think mm -hmm. it's just not going to work out. So one of the main questions that I'll ask my clients is, but what if it does? Right. Plan for it. I think a lot of women and men have imposter syndrome. Yes. Like great things happen to them, but they feel they're not worthy of those mm -hmm. great things or they're not good enough. And a lot of times it goes back to their childhood or it goes back to a relationship that was bad or a friendship that was bad. A lot of things can, you know, mentally mess up men and women. Mm -hmm. So I know so many people deal with that imposter syndrome. Yeah. Um, and so what you're saying is, you know, 
don't think those negative thoughts. Think, think the possible, not the impossible. That's right. The possible of what can be. You only get one life. That's right. You know, believe it, perceive it. It's going to happen, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. And I know Amen, sometimes, sister. you know, that that be, be positive mm -hmm. is a lot for people. Right. You know, I think if you've been somebody that's been telling yourself, you know, I am, I'm just an unattractive woman. Nobody right. wants to love me. It's really hard to go to. It is. I'm gorgeous. Everybody right. loves me. I have all this stuff. That, that can be really hard. Right. But what I often will tell people is I, I like to have my clients create what I call a brag book. Mm -hmm. And that is everything. Every compliment that somebody has given you, actually, like I had a bunch of people compliment me the other day on this pink blazer. So right. I wore it again. Yeah. Right? So, so every, every compliment right. that somebody gives you, mm -hmm. just say thank you. Right. Just sit in it and say thank you. Enjoy the So moment. when that thought comes up mm -hmm. and you want to say, well, this old dress or oh, this thing, right. ugh, this, thank you. Own it. Thank you. Own you it. know? Feel it. Every Be compliment it. Mm -hmm. you get at work. When, when that manager or those coworkers tell you, you know, you're really good at creating a schedule for all of us to follow, put it in your brag book mm -hmm. so that when you get those moments where you're feeling like, I don't have a right to be here, I don't deserve to be here, which is what the imposter syndrome tells us, you have a whole slew of evidence, mm -hmm. concrete evidence mm -hmm. that you're not kind of trying to mimic in your head, but this is concrete evidence that supports why you're in this place that you're in right now. Right, I love it. So a lot of times, women that maybe don't perceive themselves as beautiful or attractive, it's their personality. Mm -hmm. I think looks is, is, you know, it's perceived as, you know, a first glance, someone's beautiful or cute or pretty. But some of the most beautiful people are the people that are the most different and their confidence and their outgoing personality makes them absolutely beautiful. But it's hard to convince people of mm -hmm. that. You know, you have to believe in yourself for, for great things happen. But like you said, having a brag book that shows them, you know, how amazing other people think they yeah. are, then that helps. Yeah. Now, who needs a life coach? I know everyone, but who 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 would need that in your, in your world of, okay, these people desperately need life coaches is it people that are that are changing people that just need coaching or people that just are at their wits end and just think I can't do this anymore yeah well, all of the above I think you hit the nail on the head you know I'm gonna say everybody of needs course. a life coach but I think there are life coaches for different things in different seasons of your life so I will say if you find yourself needing somebody to really help you get an outside perspective of what's happening in your life that would be a great opportunity for you to work with the coach anyone who feels like gosh I just feel stuck mm -hmm. you know I'm not really sure what's next I'm not you know I'm not happy I'm not quite sad but something's not sitting well that would be a great person for a coach someone who's in a major transition coaching would be a great thing for you as well so there are lots of opportunities to work with the coach um, and I just say kind of think about what, what, what's the big question that you're trying to answer in your life and right. what's the best coach to help you do that? So, and that's what a coach does. A yeah. life coach is like a football coach. Absolutely. You know, you coach that person along the way to achieve their goals, to achieve Absolutely. their dreams, or maybe just, just to get over that hump. They, they, they feel like they can't. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I always describe it just that way. When people ask me, well, what is a life coach? I say, you know, we all watch sports. The coach does not get in the game with you, right? right? The coach is on the sidelines. They're watching what's happening. They're looking at you. They're looking at the opposition. And they're going to tell you what you're doing really, really well. Right. But they're also going to hold that mirror to say, here's what you can do to get the edge and ultimately win the game. Right. So, And that's so important because yeah. sometimes you just need someone to believe in you or yeah. someone to give you some different ideas. Absolutely. Or someone to have you make a brag book and you know how amazing you are mm -hmm. and how much you've accomplished so you believe in yourself. Absolutely. A coach just gives you that incredible outside perspective because most of us walk around and we're in our heads all the time, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And it's always either the best of times or the worst of right. times. Uh -huh. And so a coach can really help you get perspective on where you are right now, and they're gonna hold you. That's the one thing that I tell mm -hmm. people about coaching. Make you accountable. Don't get a coach unless you are really, really ready right. to know what your life is gonna be like when you hit that goal, because right. that's the main job of the coach, is to make sure you hit the goal. Absolutely. So for our takeaway for our guests out there, Tell us three things that each person out there can do to, to find out their dreams, to reach their goals, to help them navigate this thing called life. Yeah, so I, I like to kind of put it in, I call it my 3D guide to personal or professional growth. So the first thing you want to do is you want to think about what needs to be disrupted mm -hmm. in my life right now. 
don't get afraid of disruption. I know that word can be a little harsh, mm -hmm. but sometimes that's what we need. We need to figure out what it is that's functioning so normally for us that it doesn't quite sit well anymore. And we need to stop that normal thinking, that normal habit, that normal attitude, belief system that you have every day. So that, what is it that needs to be disrupted in my life right now? And then what do I really want? Discovery. What do I really want? What feels good? What is my, what is my spirit telling me that it needs right now? And go on that journey of discovering what is I really want in this particular season? And then design, get you a plan. Once you've, got, once you've got that thing that you really want, now we can start to design a plan around it so that you can go after it and attack it. Girl, you're inspiring. <laughs> I'm like sitting here taking mental notes thinking, yes, yes, I'm going to follow that. You were amazing. I hope you'll come back on the set. Anytime. Uh, you are amazing. Your energy is great. I love, I feel like that. I just feel like I have this crystal in my hand and you're radiating. Um, so I so appreciate you. I know you are going to be a hit of our viewers out there and we're going to have you back. And thank you for the journey that you're helping all your clients reach and us on the show. And thank you for stopping by the set to share your knowledge and your life coaching. Yeah, thank you so much for so having welcome. me. It's been a blast. Oh, thanks. So, Zanika has inspired me to be a better person, and I hope she has inspired you. Let's get our life together with your favorite life coach.